Sadly, Star Wars is over. No more May the 4th be with you or Revenge of the Fifth. Those were like... I mean, Revenge of the Fifth was yesterday and May the 4th be with you was two days ago. But still, I... But still, it was alright. I mean, sadly, Star Wars Day didn't go so well. How? Because I didn't do a Star Wars drawing. Yeah. But yesterday, I guess it's all right. It was all right. But like I said, there's always next year. All right, let's talk about Bad Batch. So, yeah, I did like a spoiler-free... Okay, so I don't think I've ever done a spoiler-free review on the channel. So I guess I do. I did my best trying to not spoil anything that I watched from Bad Batch on Star Wars Day, which I had made a video because I, I tried to make a quick video because that's also another reason. I didn't make a video on that day. Well, I mean, I did, but I, I, I ended up falling asleep all day while watching my siblings. And then once I woke up, they were already asleep as well. But still. So, yeah, let's talk some spoilers. So, yeah, before I talk some spoilers, um, I do have footage of my reactions. It's just I'm worried that I may lose it. I don't know. But if I lose it, I'm just going to do a raw reaction. I don't care. I will do a raw reaction. I will do a raw reaction. I do not care. I will do a raw reaction. But if I'm able to, like, not lose the footage, I'm going to, like, re-upload it out of nowhere on the channel. Plus, they'll say re-upload in the title. But anyway, so yeah. So, yeah, like I said in my Clone Wars review, um, I was glad to hear that they were making they were making a Bad Batch series. Because at first, I was, like, thinking, is this going to be a prequel series? Basically, their origin story or a sequel which is the aftermath of Clone Wars, which it technically is an aftermath, which is why it is titled the ap why why the, it, it, the first episode is titled Aftermath. Literally, it's the aftermath of season seven of the Clone Wars, and oh man, I could talk all day about this episode. But let's get to the best stuff. So I'm gonna do my best to remember some of the best stuff. I had I've like tried to watch it multiple times, but I'm always forgetting. So. I gotta say, the one thing I was not expecting, and I guess, honestly, I think I was, uh, I, I guess I thought I was expecting this in episode two or something. I didn't never, to be honest, I never bothered thinking if we'd ever have this happen in the show, which just actually did. It, it, ha it has happened in the show, in the first episode. And what has happened? Execute Order 66. Cause um oh my god cause the, okay so when okay so when I hear I'm like okay so okay I cannot talk correctly uh once the stormtrooper just like turns around and like checks on his communicator or something and then once I hear a hologram sound I'm like wait a minute and then boom Palpatine right there and I'm like like I said in my review I trigger. Anything that's Order 66 for the because it is the craziest thing that has ever happened in Star Wars history. It might as well be the best and worst thing to ever happen. Why worst thing? Because it's sad. All the Jedis are getting killed. Along with the younglings that were killed by Anakin. And also, I watched Revenge of the uh, Sith yesterday. Well, that doesn't matter. But yeah, like Soup, and the best part about it is cause, like Soup said in, 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 in a TikTok video I saw, it's sort of like the end game of you know, with the story and stuff, but, oh my god, I was not expecting that, I was so surprised, I was mostly surprised to see, to find out that Padawan was from Star Wars Rebels, because I'm like, wait a minute, who's this guy, wait a minute, is this, is this, what was his, what, wait, his name is Caleb, wait, is that his name, I know he's from Star Wars Rebels, is that his name, which is actually Kanan and Caleb at the same time, I guess, still, I was shocked to see him in the show, and, yeah, we technically just got his sort of origin story on how he lost his master and how he had escaped Order 66. Because, oh my god. And also, after seeing, after watching episode 11 of Season 7 of Clone Wars, I'm like thinking, if all the clones turn bad, that means the Bad Batch. Oh no! But guess what? At first, I'm like thinking, the Bad Batch executes order 66 which means since they're clones they technically go bad but here's the thing it doesn't have it has no effect on them i was surprised that it had no effect on them because they wednesday i saw the stormtroopers um 
once they saw the uh, clones troop clone troopers um kill a Jedi master which was uh Caleb's Jedi master they were like wait a minute what the heck's going on why are they shooting her I thought why why, why, why we were, were what's going on literally the bad batch are literally confused and are wondering why the heck they were killing the Jedi and what the heck was going on tech it just just they're all but it's okay. They all heard the, 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 so in their comms, they all heard the order from Palpatine, where he said, execute order 66. They heard, they heard him say that in the comms, except they're like, what's order 66? They are literally confused and are wondering what's order 66. And here's the best part about it. It has no effect on them. You know, with the chips in their heads. Order 66 has no effect on the Bad Batch. Because I'm like wondering, oh my god, this was the best thing that had ever, that, that, that ever happened in this episode. Because what I liked about this was cause the, the Bad Batch had no effect. It has no effect on them, which was honestly the best part about this episode. Except it may have had effect on Crosshairs. Because, okay, so a couple of days ago, I heard there was like a spoiler on Instagram. I mean, I, I, from like... The Star Star Wars direct. What was it called again? Uh, uh, Star Wars direct. It was it was in a website called Star. Yeah yeah yeah. Um, Star Wars direct. I found out something about it from here. Uh, had to do with one of the clones betraying them or something. Hang on, I'm I'm actually gonna go find it real quick. So BRB. Okay, so while I'm like scrolling up on Twitter, I find this, which I did technically sign. This is sort of similar to what I'm saying about crosshairs sort of having effect on Order 66. So here it says, uh, oh, this is on my dad's birthday. Anyways, it says, warning, spoilers below. A leaked Star Wars description confirms one member of the Bad Batch as shift of loyalties following Order 66, which is technically crosshairs because literally he is following the Order. And there was, there was also a line he had said, which kind of gave me like, Wait a minute, I swear I've heard this from someone. Was this from Season 6 of Clone Wars? And it was, good soldiers follow orders. Anyways, I'm going to go uh, continue finding it. It's not the right one, but it's similar to that. Oh, that was easy. Literally, I just stopped recording and I scroll up and then... Oh, that was easy. It took me a couple of seconds. Okay, so right here it says, Warning, potential spoilers below. A new leak suggests that the Bad Batch may have a traitor in its ranks. So, yeah, okay. I don't. Now that I think about it, I don't know if that's... Yeah, but it, what I'm trying to say is that the, the, this, ten, I technically just spoiled my, I mean, I didn't know who it was, and I was worried, oh no, it's going to be one of, the, one of the Bad Batch members is going to go bad, and then after rewatching some trailers of the Clone Wars, not Clone Wars, the Bad Batch, I then noticed something that I did not pay attention after I did a trailer reaction of the first official trailer, and I'm like, wait a minute, one of them is missing, I only see four, aren't there supposed to be five, and then it hit me. Crosshairs. I'm like, oh no, is it Crosshairs? This is way before I end up watching the episode because, like I said, I was rewatching trailers to, like, you know, yeah, you know, for excitement. But then I noticed something that I should have noticed while watching it back then was that I technically just found out who was going to be the traitor, and it was Crosshairs. Which sadly, oh man, I I hope so. I hope something. I. Sadly, he's now following Order 66. Not only following Order 66, he ten, he's technically has joined the Empire and is no longer a Bad Batch member. And this just breaks my heart because I liked all five members. But now, he's, yeah, one's out of the group. But I'm hoping he could get back in the group. Like, like I don't know. I just I Technically, I just want to see a redemption because now he's basically on the bad guy side. And I want him to be on the good guy side, which is the Bad Batch. But yeah, I mean, he, I mean, the power one got away. Kanan, I mean, obviously, because he's in Rebel. He's in Star Wars Rebels. He's in Star Wars Rebels. But still, this episode was insane. It was incredible. It was so much good. It, it, it has, it was so much good as how good was it. Basically, Star Wars, Clone Wars and Bad Batch have the same, uh, it was freaking awesome thing. I don't know how to explain it, but... What I'm trying to say is that Bad Batch was so good as Clone Wars. It 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 had not disappoint me. It was I was it's technically Clone Wars season eight if you think about it. It's not really Bad Batch. It's just season eight of Clone Wars. It's just season eight of Clone Wars, which is honestly the best part about the series. 
And also another thing, uh, the character Omega, she's apparently uh, uh, a messed up clone. And by messed up clone, here's another reason for why Order 66 has had no effect on the clones, on the Bad Batch. So, they are all clones. They should look the same, except they all sort of look different. They are clones, but they kind of came out, they didn't come out correctly. So they are kind of a bit messed up clones. I don't mean it in a rude way, just more like, um, I can't find the right word. I can't remember the word, but they didn't, what I'm trying to say is that they didn't came out correctly, but they, 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 they're still good. They're still badass because around when they appeared in the beginning of the episode and by in the beginning of the episode, like when they, when they first appeared, they're just, us. they're just, oh man, they don't need no army. They're good. They, they are big brain. They are, they are big brain. I, oh my god. I love the Bad Batch even more. I love the Bad Batch even more. So I was, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to us? But yeah, but yeah, um, so yeah. Technically, Omega is technically one of them. Except she's a clone, but a female version, which I think is, she's like, I think she's like the first female clone out of all the clones. But still, so yeah. Okay, where was I? Where was I? Um, yeah, back to the point. I am hoping that Crosshairs just gets a I hope he's back to the good side, because now the Bad Batch are now on the run, and Crosshairs is technically going to be hunting them like a freaking Terminator. Might as well call him a Storm Terminator. You don't get it? Storm Trooper plus Terminator, or Clone Terminator, since they're not fully Storm Troopers yet. Sort of. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, that, I guess that's all my thoughts on Episode 1, because... I I I I I could talk I like I like I said I could talk about it all day but I cannot remember much I had watched the episode multiple times and I've sadly already forgotten a little bit but this episode was amazing I freaking loved it I'm glad it came down Star Wars Day perfect day for it to come out because it is Star Wars Day oh man this episode just this episode was freaking great it's so good just just how much just how much just how Clone Wars is so good is what I mean you know just you you got what I mean. You get what I mean? I, I, I'm having trouble explaining this, but I cannot wait to see the next episode tomorrow, which I will be doing a reaction, but do cross my fingers that I don't lose footage of my reaction of episode one. I'm hoping I am i don't lose footage, but if I do, sadly, I'm going to have to, like, do a raw reaction. And like I said, I don't care. I will do a raw reaction of episode one. And also, th that first episode's like an hour and 15 minutes long. Well, technically, it's 75 minutes long, but it's an hour and... 15 minutes long. Anyways, also say hi to Baby Yoda in the background. I put him there on purpose. But yeah, that's, again, my thoughts, my spoiler reveal on episode one of The Clone Wars. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below and what are you expecting to happen in episode two of The Clone Wars. Not Clone Wars Bad Batch! Oh, good God. This is going to take a while for me to get used to. And also, I will be watching the rest of the series with my dad once I head there to Vegas in about exactly a week. But yeah, that's all for today's video. Do give the video a big thumbs up. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you want more videos like these. Especially for more Baby Yoda content. Why did I win? Still, I'll see you guys in my review for episode 2 tomorrow. Along with my episode 2 reaction of Star Wars The Bad Batch. Anyways, may the 4th be... Oh, dang it, it's not May 4th. Still, I'm going to say it. May the 4th be with you. Bye-bye!